What's good everybody? Welcome back to the Volpro Scooters. My name is Austin and today you guys are joining me for another episode of What's New in Scootering. For those of you guys who don't know, this is the series where I keep you up to date and in the know of all the recently released scooter parts here in the pro scooter world. So go grab some popcorn, take a seat. This is gonna be a good episode. There's a lot of new product that I'm hyped to talk about. Let's get into it. All right, so for those of you guys who don't know, Prey is a new brand that came from Scandinavia and they make some pretty cool products. They actually sponsor a bunch of cool people, including our good friend, Alex Blome. If you guys haven't seen Alex Blome's custom build, click the link up there. He pretty much uses all Prey parts, but he does a really good job at just showing you how unique and different the Prey parts are from a lot of the parts out there on the market. But the Prey Today deck is their smaller deck. They actually make another deck called the Tomorrow deck that we'll take a look at in just a sec. But the Today deck is a bit smaller and focuses on a little bit different riding style than I would say the Tomorrow deck does. So the Prey Today deck does come in two different sizes. You have 5.9 inches wide or 5.5. So I'll quickly run through the specs of the 5.5. Then we will run through all the cool details of the deck features with the 5.9 inch model because that's what I have here in front of me. So the 5.5 inch Prey Today deck comes in either 21.6 or 22 inches long by obviously 5.5 inches wide. The 21.6 features 15.6 inches of foot space. The 22 inch features 16 inches of foot space. It has a 83.5 degree head tube angle. Taking a look at the back, it can fit up to 120 by 24 millimeter or 30 millimeter wide wheels, which is pretty cool. And the last thing that I wanna notate about the 5.5 inch Prey Today deck is the weight. The 21.6 inch Prey Today deck weighs 4.2 pounds and the 22 inch Prey Today deck weighs 4.25 pounds. So just a little bit of a weight gain between the two lengths, but nothing your average rider can't handle. As far as the 5.5 inch model goes, that's pretty much it. So let's talk about the 5.9 inch model. So the Today deck comes 5.9 inches wide by either 22 or 22.4 inches long. This is the black colorway. It also does come in a maroon colorway, but it's actually a SIG colorway that I'll show you in just a sec. It does have an 83.5 degree head tube angle. It features fully flat edges, so finger whips and grinds are gonna feel amazing. Of course, you do have fully square dropouts as well with some rounded aluminum inserts here, similar to like a native deck or something along those lines. While we're taking a look at the back, wheel compatibility wise, the Prey Today deck can fit 24 and 30 millimeter wide wheels. It comes with spacers included for both of those as well, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't just get a brake when you buy a Prey Today deck, you actually get a Prey Fender. This is the same Fender that they sell aftermarket, so if you guys wanna buy one of these for your scooter, you can, but the Today deck features it on the deck straight out of the box, which is pretty sweet. If we take a look at the bottom, you guys can see that the Today Deck is fully flat, features this really, really cool graphic on the black model. You have the brand here as well. For the most part, it is just completely flat, which means grinds are going to uh, pretty much feel amazing. You're gonna have no problems locking into rails or ledges and stuff like that. You have a really, really nice blunt plate here. If you guys like doing blunt stalls or blunt grinds, the Prey Today Deck is going to push through those with ease. It is pretty much fully flat and you have a lot of space here for crooks as well. If you guys are like Ryan Gold, you guys like to do a lot of crooks. I should definitely pick up this deck. Probably feels pretty great if I had to imagine. If we just rotate around the deck, you guys can see it's a fairly simple deck. It doesn't look too insane. There's a lot of cool elements here, like how the head tube has this little divot in it. I would assume that's to reduce weight and also just give the deck a little bit more of a look. Same with the head tube, a little bit of shape here, just so it's not super flat. The Today Deck is fairly simple, but honestly, that's what they're going for. It's more purpose use than you know aesthetic use. So when it comes to the 5.9 Prey Deck's weight, the 22 inch model weighs 4.3 pounds and the 22.4 inch model weighs four and a half pounds. So this is the black Prey Today deck. Let's take a look at the maroon one. Boom. All right, so here's the maroon Prey Today deck. Taking a look at their website, I haven't seen a lot of people actually notating this deck to be a SIG model, but it is actually a signature model. So taking a look at Prey's website, the maroon colorway of the Prey Today deck is actually the Michael Scredding signature deck. If I mispronounce your name, man, I'm so sorry. But this is his signature deck, so it features a different graphic here than the black one. It actually says his name here on the bottom, so I don't know how it is being confused. It's just a normal deck, but his graphic features a super sick UFO, pretty much abducting his name or his name is actually embossed in the beams coming out but really really cool graphic if you guys are a fan of ufos this is definitely a deck for you same exact deck as the black one it's just in this super sick maroon colorway personally love maroon decks i feel like there's not a lot of them in the scooter world and as a sig deck i think it's a perfect colorway so that is pretty much it for the prey today deck let's take a look at the prey tomorrow deck here in my hands is the prey tomorrow deck this is the larger of the two this is the one that alex blome and most of the prey riders are riding 
exciting if I had to imagine myself, and probably the one that you guys have heard the most about. And that's because they actually make this deck in 6.7 inches wide, which up until now is the widest deck on the market. Obviously the Aztec 666 deck was holding that throne for a while, but the Prey Tomorrow deck comes 6.7, which makes it the widest deck on the market. So if you guys did not know that, there you go. Just like the Today deck, the Tomorrow deck comes in two different widths. You have 6.3 inches wide or 6.7 inches wide with two different length variants. So we'll quickly run through those. You guys have the choice between 22 inches long or 23.2 inches long. The uh, 22 inch comes with 16 inches of foot space. The 23.2 comes with 16 and a half inches of foot space. It does feature an 83.5 degree head tube angle, just just like the Today Deck. When it comes to wheel compatibility, the Tomorrow Deck can fit up to 125 millimeter wheels by either 24 or 30 millimeter wide wheels. Of course, just like the Today Deck, you have both spacers included. So if you wanna ride either of those widths, you guys will be good to go straight out of the box. The deck does feature the same aluminum plug inserts just like the Today Deck as well. You guys can rotate these as they wear, which is pretty cool just to get the maximum amount of life with your dropouts. Taking a look at the bottom, you get the same super flat bottom shape as the Today Deck as well. And and when it comes to a 6.7 inch wide deck that's fully flat and it is a true 6.7 wide deck so if you guys are missing any grinds or 50s i really don't know what to tell you at this point because the deck is pretty much made to lock you into anything that you're trying to do the tomorrow deck does feature the same fender as the today deck as well the tomorrow deck does actually feature the name prey stamped right in here to the head tube so those are pretty much all the specs when it comes to the 6.3 inch prey tomorrow deck let's talk about the 6.7 so the 6.7 inch prey tomorrow deck comes in either 22.4 or 23.2 inches long. The 22.4 inch comes with 16.2 inches of foot space and the 23.2 comes with 17.2 inches of foot space. So you're getting a ton of foot space on this deck. Honestly, I know Alex Blome in the past has pretty much taken fenders off and he told me that when it comes to the Tomorrow deck, he pretty much has more than enough foot space. So if you guys are a rider out there that craves the maximum amount of foot space, I highly recommend you guys check out this deck. The 22.4 inch model, weighs 4.9 pounds and the 23.2 inch model weighs five pounds on the dot. So the last thing we wanna talk about when it comes to the 6.7 inch Prey Tomorrow deck is colorway. It also does come in a shaded blue. So let's take a look at that. So as you guys can tell, this is the shaded blue and this one is a signature model as well. To uh, avoid butchering somebody's name, I'm not gonna go ahead and try to pronounce that, but this one is 6.3 inches wide. However, it features his own signature graphic and his own signature colorway. Other than that, all the specs, are exactly the same. So that is it for the Prey decks. You guys can pick one up at the link down below. Next up is going to be the Prey Sense Wheels. So this is one of two wheel designs from Prey. The Sense Wheel features a two-toned chrome and black core. They feature this really cool four-spoke, offset design where the silver is in one spot, the black is another, it almost looks like a shuriken. These wheels are 110 millimeters by 24 millimeters. They feature pre-installed the Prey bearings. They only come in this one colorway. Weight-wise, you're looking at just under half a pound per wheel, pretty average for every set of wheel out there. You're looking at an 88A urethane rating, so a little bit of a harder wheel. So if you guys prefer faster wheels, definitely take a look at these. Finally, these guys are sold in pairs. So if you add one to your cart, you guys are gonna get two, keep that in mind since some wheels are sold individually and some wheels are sold in pairs. If 24 millimeter wide wheels aren't your cup of tea, don't worry. The Sense Wheel also comes in a 30 wide variant, 110 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Bit of an odd size, but I know there are a lot of riders in the world that do prefer a smaller wheel. So these are 110 millimeters by 30 millimeters, same exact pre-installed bearings, same exact 88A urethane rating, and of course are sold in pairs. But you guys just aren't a fan of that thin urethane, you guys can pick up the wide boys. I think it is really cool that they offer both of them though. And moving on to the second wheel design, these are the Prey Feel Wheels. The Feel Wheel features a similar, but just one color core here. They come black on black. They only come black on black. Very sleek, very smooth. These guys are 110 millimeters by 24 millimeters. And no, they do not come in a different size. They are only available in this size right here. Of course, they do come with pre-installed Prey bearings, just like the Sense Wheels, and they are, of course, sold in pairs as well. They weigh just under half a pound per wheel. If you guys are looking for just a cool set of wheels that not everyone's gonna have, and you wanna support a new brand that's really making a name for themselves, highly recommend you guys check these guys out. Next up is going to be the Prey Coffin SCS. Maybe asking yourself, why is it called the Coffin SCS? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Looks like a coffin. One of two SCS designs that Prey has to offer. This guy does come in two different sizes, uh, standard or oversized. If you choose the standard size variant, 
It can only fit standard size bars. If you select the oversized variant, you can ride both standard and oversized bars. Everything else is exactly the same. So you're looking at a three and a half inch tall aluminum SCS clamp. It features four M8 clamp bolts, six mil heads, and are the M8 size, so they're a bit bigger and stronger. You're not gonna have any issues stripping them out. If you do buy the oversized variant, which is what I have here, it does not come with the shim. If you buy the oversized version, I highly recommend you just ride oversized bars with it. It does come with an included top cap and bolt, and the reason I know that is because it tells you on the inside. Huh? Huh? Look at that. Other than that, it's just your standard black colorway. It features the coffin shape here on the front, the brand name Prey right there in the center. Very, very minimalist, very, very simple. Last but not least, the Coffin SCS weighs 10.4 ounces, so it actually weighs less than a pound, making it one of the lighter SCSs and honestly, one of the cooler looking SCSs. The other SCS clamp that Prey has to offer is called the Till Death SCS clamp. I actually don't have it here in front of me, but our editor will throw a photo of it up on the screen. It is a really cool SCS. It features a lot of cool Halloween style designs. It's got like bats and coffins. If you guys are a fan of that or you like the way it looks and you wanna learn more about that clamp, click the link down below, read all the specs, read the description. And if you guys wanna pick one up when they come back in stock, there you go. Moving on to the next Prey product, we're gonna be taking a look at the forks. First one up is going to be the Prey Vulture Fork. Features a nice vulture here on the front. So if you guys have a cutout on your deck, you guys are gonna see that through it. This is an SES slash HIC compatible fork. This fork is compatible with everything up to 125 millimeter wheels by 30 millimeter and up to 12 standard wheels. So you guys can ride pretty much every wheel size on this fork. It features all the spacers included here and it also does feature a 12 standard axle so this is very similar to a native versa fork where it's going to come with all the spacers you need to ride pretty much any wheel size you want compression bolt wise you're looking at an m6 compression bolt the steer tube is 5.5 inches long so depending on what head tube you have on your deck you might need to run headset spacers you might not of course you do have an integrated crown raise here so you guys don't need to put one on last but not least the prey vulture fork weighs 12.2 ounces under a pound with all the hardware included and that is pretty outrageous so not only does this fork look cool, it doesn't weigh a lot, and it's compatible with every single wheel on the market. If you guys are looking for a new fork, you guys should definitely be checking this guy out. Moving on to the second fork in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Prey Brute Fork, and it is actually the Alex Alwida. If I mispronounce it, I'm so sorry. You guys might know him better as Kook on a Scoot on Instagram, but this is his signature fork, and really excited to talk about it today. Kook on a Scoot is a pretty gnarly rider. That dude sends some pretty crazy drops and definitely has a unique style. They rewarded him with his own signature fork, and this fork is pretty sick as well. The sides on the fork are fully solid, has no cutouts. It just features the name here on the side, so it says Brute on both sides and features his name here on the front of the head tube, which is a nice touch just to resemble that it is his signature fork. This fork is 12 standard compatible and from what I'm being told, it is only 12 standard compatible. It does not come with a 24 millimeter axle or any spacers. So if you guys buy this fork, pretty much only buy it if you guys are intending to ride 12 standard wheels. It does feature the same 5.5 inch steer tube M6 compression bolt and 125 millimeter wheel compatibility and size. It only comes in this matte black colorway. And last but not least, it weighs 12.10 ounces. So just a little bit more than the Vulture Fork. Moving into the last Prey product in today's video is going to be the Prey Branch Bar. This is Prey's 4130 Chromoly Steel T-Bar. I'm holding the matte black colorway. Features the Prey logo right here on the top of the bar. This bar comes at 28.4 inches tall by 24 inches wide. It does come in either standard or oversized. No matter what size you get, they do not come with a pre-installed slit, so you guys will have to install that yourself if you wanna ride IHC or HIC. The branch bar weighs 2.5 pounds. Obviously, as you guys reduce material by cutting it down to fit your size, you're gonna be reducing a bit of weight, so just keep that in mind. And that's pretty much all I can say about this bar. It's just your standard T-bar. It's gonna match all the other prey parts perfectly, and if you guys are in the market for a T-bar, that's a little bit different. We should definitely be taking a look at these. So that's pretty much all the Prey stuff that I have to cover today. If you guys are interested in any of the Prey products that I talked about, all the links for all those products will be down below. Make sure to show Prey some love on Instagram. Like I said, they are a new brand that's really making waves here in the scooter world and they deserve the love. So make sure to check them out on Instagram and show all the riders some love as well. So next product we're gonna be taking a look at in today's video is going to be the all new long awaited Affinity Y bars. So Affinity has been teasing this Y shape bar for honestly I feel like what's been like a year or two at this point and they're finally 
Here, these bars resemble the infamous rag crow shape, or honestly, now you guys probably identify this shape with the tilt centuries more, but Affinity wanted to put their own twist to it and their own shape, so they made their own bar, and these guys are pretty sick. You guys don't know anything about Affinity. These guys are hand welded here in the USA by scooter riders, which is pretty sweet. They tend to have a longer lifespan than a lot of bars out there, and they're honestly just a great group of dudes that are making bars. The Y bar is the newest shape in their collection, so let's talk about it. These guys come 30 inches tall by 26 inches wide and either standard or oversized. It doesn't matter what size you get, they do not come with a slit. So it doesn't matter if you get standard or oversized, you do not get a slit. If you guys wanna ride IHC or SCS, you guys will have to get a slit cut yourself. These bars are made from 4130 chromoly steel. You guys can actually see the welds here on the raw colorway. Another thing to note about these bars is they do have back sweep. So as you guys can tell, the bars actually bend back just a little bit, similar to a BMX bar. So if you guys like back sweep, these bars are gonna definitely be for you. They do come in two colorways. I'm holding raw. They also come in a matte black. Personally, I like the matte black a little bit more. And you also get the Affinity Torch logo here on the top as well. Since obviously they're hand welding the bars, it's a nice little thing and just makes them very apparent that these are Affinity bars and not rad bars. So if you guys want to pick up a pair of the Affinity Y bars, click the link down below. So moving on, let's take a look at the all new Heligrip Summit Grips. So these grips are pretty much replacing the Heligrip Broadway grips. These guys are honestly a lot nicer of grips. Broadway grips tend to be a little bit tougher in the beginning, but as soon as you break them in, they tend to be really nice. These grips are pretty much comfortable and soft straight out of the box. The feel of them really resembles like an animal Edwin grip, if you guys ever rode those. The Summit grips are 6.2 inch long grips, pretty much the perfect length. I don't think you need anything shorter or anything longer. They do come in three different colorways. I'm currently holding black. Next up is gonna be the Hell Rosa colorway. So this is like a pink or like a rose pink. Pretty much Hell Rosa is going to match their Hell Rosa Hell Grip colorway perfectly. These guys are just a really, really nice rose pink, baby pink, if you will. A little bit different than what other people have out there, which I really, really like. So you get the pink grip with the pink bar ends. You also can get clear. What I really like that Hella Grip did is they did the clear grip with the clear bar end. I think it's a really nice touch. So that's pretty much it for the Hella Grip Summit Grips. If you guys are a fan of Hella Grip and you've been riding their grip tape forever, you want to show them a little bit more love, you should definitely pick up a pair of Summit Grips today. So the last product we're going to be covering in this episode of What's New in Scootering is going to be the three new Hella Grip grip tape designs that we have as well, but they released four new grip tape designs with the Summit Grips, so let's take a look at those. If you are a fan of Hella Grip and you've been scootering for a few years, you probably remember this guy. This is the classic Sloth logo Hella Grip grip tape. Originally the Sloth was white, this time it's black. They brought this guy back and I honestly really, really do like it. Very simple, very minimalist. And they also bumped all the sheets up from six inches wide to seven inches wide because they need this guy to fit all the larger decks that are coming out. So normal hella grip grit grip tape but with the nice little black hella grip here in the corner. Next up is Walter's favorite design, and that is the Hot Wheels design. If you guys watched our video on the seven wide North deck, you guys probably remember this, this is what we put on it. This design features just a ton of Hot Wheels aspects. You got the checkerboard for the finish line. You got the blue and the flames. It's honestly just a lot going on, but I think it works together perfectly. And finally, you got the large logo with the sloth dot rainbow in between. So you have the large classic white Heligrip logo, but inside Side, there's actually a ton of little rainbow slot dot Heligrip logos scattered all the way through it. It was a really, really cool way to combine two of the previous grip tapes into one and make it a little bit different. So those are the three Heligrip designs that we have here right now. There is actually one more and that is the Heligrip Zodiac logo grip tape. There is an image of it here or somewhere on the screen. Pretty much says Heligrip in the Zodiac font and is a really, really cool design. We just don't have it in stock as we are filming this today. However, it will be available, I'm sure, by the time this video comes out. Just in case you guys are interested in that, the link for it should be down below as well. So that is it for Heligrip and that is it for this episode of What's New in Scootering. If you guys enjoyed and you guys hopefully learned something new, please let us know by hitting that like button and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload and you don't miss any uploads. My name is Austin, and until the next video, have a good one.